What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at a couple of well-known cheating devices that many players use to get an unfair advantage in popular FPS multiplayer games. A lot of people like to say that these devices are how some of the more popular gameplay YouTubers seem to have no recoil and perfect aim. So in this video we're going to take a look at how they work. Now before we get started I do need to say that this video is for educational purposes only regardless if you think these devices are okay or not. I think we can all agree that topics like these are interesting. So hopefully you enjoy, and if you do, make sure to hit the like button. So the devices that we're talking about today are the Strike Pack and the Cronus Max. These are by far the most popular controller cheating peripherals on the market, particularly the Strike Pack because it is very inexpensive and available at most retailers. A lot of people also like to use them as a scuff alternative for the back paddles, but they are also capable of utilizing a lot of the same mods as the Cronus Max. So what kind of mods are we talking about? Well, a quick YouTube YouTube search on either of these devices will show you that they are capable of many things like anti-recoil cheats, aim assist, rapid fire mods, keyboard and mouse on console, auto heal, button macros, the list goes on and on. The Cronus Max and its latest version, the Cronus Zen, are a bit more customizable and they even let you use almost any controller on any console. While these devices are also very much plug and play, the Cronus Max and Zen rely more on special software to control the mods and scripts. So now that I've showed you how these devices work, let's talk about their software capabilities. Both the Strike Pack and the Cronus Max can be connected to a desktop computer to make adjustments and modifications with their own respective software. Starting off with the Strike Pack, if we connect it to our computer, and open the software, you can see that we have options to start making the adjustments. Some of the basic mods that we can adjust are rapid fire for both our primary and secondary, anti recoil strength, quick scoping auto run, and many more. There's even a monthly subscription service called the Mod Pass that allows you to get the latest controller mods for the latest games. The Cronus Max and Cronus Zen offer many of the same features as the Strike Pack, but with far more customization. As you can see straight out of the box, there is far more support for more games, and you can assign different packs to different profiles on your device. One of the most interesting things about the Cronus Max is its online library for custom scripts. You can type in pretty much any game and get a full list of user-generated scripts that can be customized to your liking. As you can see by simply downloading a script of my choice, I'm able to change and program different mods and variables to my liking and then either save them to my computer or flash them directly to my device. Keep in mind that these are just the basics of what these devices and software programs are capable of. As you can imagine, in the hands of the right user, they can produce some pretty game-breaking exploits. So the question is, why are these devices allowed and why have they not been banned? Well, the answer is kind of complicated, but the easiest way to put it is that since these devices are just modifying your controller and not technically hacking the game, they're pretty much undetectable by whatever game it is that you're playing. It is possible that this could change in the future, but that's pretty much the main reason why cheaters have got away with it for so long. But there you guys have it. I hope that you all enjoyed this educational look at how the Strike Pack and the Cronus Max work. If you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, please leave a like rating. Also comment below to let me know what you think. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.